gosh, I am you have no idea how happy I am to be back and be myself. Okay, this is just quick. I'm just gonna quickly explain something before I get into the haul. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry, I look like a freak right now, but that's fine. Do you want like my hair? Yeah, I just woke up and this is what my hair looked like. This is not what my face looked like though. Hmm. No, this took a little bit of work. I was actually really, really sick last week, and I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know what I had. So I was sick for like a week, and I don't could not tell you why I was that sick. It was actually horrible. Like I literally could not stand up without feeling I was gonna pass out. Um, I had a fever, like a super high fever, 103. I got to sing that song while I was sick. Um, I had. I couldn't eat. I wasn't hungry. It was so weird. Anyways, I'm back now and I have a haul. This is the lamest haul in the world. This is really just an excuse for me to talk to you guys. <sighs> I just, I want to talk to you. So I have a little tiny haul and it's really not a haul. And I apologize if you're really disappointed in me after watching this video. But you know what? I'm trying, okay? I haven't shopped, legitimately shopped in since I was in Hawaii, so like since May, and it's July. I'm gonna cry. No, I'm fine. I'm Before you get any questions, what's on my nails? I always have it down below, but just in case you don't check or whatever. Um, this is the Sephora by OPI color in Fiercely Fabulous. I absolutely love red nail polish. One thing that I do get inspired from really easily is nail polish. I love orangey red nail polish, so this is my favorite. I love it. Only time for the haul. Alright, first thing first, this is just random shiznap. This stuff, okay, I feel like I'm doing my favorites video right now because this is all the like, things I love right now, but anyways. This stuff I bought um, about a week ago, maybe a little bit more, and it's called Glaxel Base. It's a moisturizing cream, and I used to use this a lot back when I was a competitive swimmer. It's the weirdest thing because this has never happened to me. I guess it has with like Christmas and stuff, but this smell is brings back so many memories, and it's so... Like, it's nostalgic. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Like, memories flooded back when I smelled this. And it's funny because I haven't smelled this since I was probably, like, 10. Or, yeah, 9 or 10. And I'm 17 now. So I'm, like, smelling it. I'm like, oh my god. It's weird. It's so weird. But I love it. And this stuff is pretty much just a moisturizing cream. But I use it because I'm actually allergic to chlorine. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I am. And I get rash right on the back of my arms here and on here and then sometimes on my hands. It depends on how my skin's feeling. When I'm in the water, I'll break out in hives wherever it feels like breaking out in hives. So this stuff is good to moisturize it and get the skin back to being healthy. I'm not sure if I even like the smell. It's just brings back memories. This mascara I bought about a week ago as well, and this is the Lash Blast Fusion Water Resistant Mascara. Recently I've been really into water resistant mascaras, and I know a lot of people have like a fear of waterproof mascara, which I think is kind of probably makes sense because this stuff has a lot of weird things in it, but I actually like it a lot more. It stays on my eyelashes longer, and it works the same as any other mascara. This one is really water resistant. I have a hard time getting it off at the end of the day um, with just water, which usually it just comes right off. But this one really does stay on. And I kind of like that, but it kind of is annoying as well because I'm like rubbing out my eyes, like trying to get this stuff off. But I really like it. Just this isn't very black and I love this mascara. This nail polish is Essie and it's cute as a button. And this is just a coral. I've worn this in a video before. I think I've had, oh, my high waisted shorts outfit of the days. I'm pretty sure I was wearing this nail polish in two of the outfits, maybe. I have that video. I'll link it down below. It's the High Wasted Shorts one. I think you guys really like High Wasted Shorts videos because I always get a lot of views on those. And that's great. Thank you. So, yeah, this is just like a coral. You think I don't have enough coral nail polish? Well, I don't. This is actually kind of a funny thing. And this is actually really cool because I, when I got this, I was like... This is actually really cool. Okay, so I went to a baseball game when I was in Seattle um, this past weekend. Sometimes they have, like, gifts they give you, like Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, like, different things like that. And this time we went, it was... We don't have season tickets anymore. P.S. That's just random. Um, this time was ladies' night. So all the women got this little set, and it's actually a manicure set. This is so funny because I had so many hangnails when I was in the States, and I got this, and I was like... I'm actually going to use it. So it comes in this like leather packaging, which <laughs> is kind of ugly, and I don't really care. So yeah, it looks like this. And it, these tools in here are, some of these are actually like, really great. So some of them are kind of scary looking. I'm actually surprised that they could get away with like giving this away with all these sharp materials. I don't know why you give tweezers. 
in a manicure set. Maybe you know, I don't know. This I haven't figured out a use for. I think it's for getting underneath your nails, but I really don't know. It kind of looks like a spoon. Like a tiny little miniature spoon. So I'm not sure. If it doesn't work for that, I'm just going to use it as like a spoon. <laughs> Imagine eating with this. It's so small, but anyways, yeah, that's Emily. Anyways. This is what it looks like. So I thought that was actually really funny, and I'm totally going to use this. I actually got a bunch of pairs of underwears. This is a long time ago that I got these. I still haven't worn them. These are from The Gap, and I know that I don't usually show, like, undergarments on this channel. I think I've shown, like, a bra twice or something. Like, a bra twice or something. Um, but I have to tell you guys that if you're getting into wearing thongs, because I have been there, obviously, because everyone starts somewhere, um, I really recommend getting lacy thongs and you might be thinking Emily that's gonna be way less comfortable that is not true trust me because I'm super tactile about materials and stuff lacy thongs I tell you they save you because they're way softer than cotton which you would not think that but it's true so these ones are just from the gap and they're blue lace and I mean they're cute I guess I don't know I'm not sure they're just underwear so if that's like my little thing on thongs if you have any more questions about that just let me know um, I will answer you because I have knowledge sometimes. It depends on what it is. Finally, finally got my hands on one of these. And these things are freaking expensive. I did not realize these were like $8. I was like, excuse me? So I got one anyways. I actually got my parents to buy it for me because I was like, hey. They're, they're at Target and I just kind of like threw it in our like cart. And I was like, mm. <laughs> And they just got it for me. So I was like, cool. Um, so this is a Revlon Lip Butter. And um, I, if you haven't heard of these you've had your ears closed. Apparently these are amazing. I don't know. I just kind of was like, I want to try it. L'Oreal also has something called like the balm, I think it's called, and it's like a similar concept. I want to try it just to compare them. I got the color Tutti Frutti um, number 15, and the reason I got this color is because I've been wanting like an orangey toned lipstick because I always have been told orange tones look good on my skin, and I'm like, you're crazy because I have like yellow skin. But anyways, I got this color and it's just literally like this orange, orange color and I'm wearing it and I love it. Like it's actually so great. Like the actual like outer packaging isn't my favorite, like this little thing, but I really like the inner packaging so I'm not sure. We'll talk about this later. How about, okay. Last thing and most exciting thing in this haul, which I always save things for last and by the end of it no one's even watching so you never even get to see the exciting things that I have in my hauls. But this is the exciting thing from this haul and my parents got this for me when they were in Portland. This is the bracelet they got me and this is the Marc Jacobs Turnlock um, rubber bracelet and it's the softest, nicest feeling rubber I've ever felt. I don't know what kind of rubber this is but it feels soft, like it feels nice, good quality. Um, it has the little um, charm, the Turnlock charm which Marc Jacobs came out with that whole like Turnlock collection with like this little Turnlocky thingamajig on everything. So I really like this bracelet. I actually had this on my Pinterest a while back. I wore it while I was um, in Seattle and I just like it because it's, I mean it's kind of big. Um, but I, all bracelets are big on me because I have such small wrists. But um, it's just nice and it just kind of looks cool and it's a nice layering piece. If you are big into like that arm candy situation this would be a fun little add-on for you and I don't think these are too expensive I think they're around $40 but I'm not exactly sure because I didn't buy it but yeah that's what the most exciting thing I got was that was I'm sorry about the haul I really apologize if that was like super boring for you but you know what I really wanted to do a video and I want to do a haul because I had stuff and I want to show you so I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, let me know if you bought anything exciting this past month. I, I want to know. So I'll see you guys all soon. Have a great day. 